Yesterday, the euro and the British pound extended weakness on a stronger dollar supported by the U.S. central bank's intention to keep fighting inflation. Although Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell hinted in a post-meeting statement the U.S. central bank might now be finished with its aggressive tightening cycle, recent comments by Fed officials represented a meaningful shift in the regulator's stance. Today, Powell is set to speak again. Notably, he strikes a more, a more dovish tone, while other policymakers are increasingly divided into two camps. Hawks, who favor a data-dependent approach to future interest rate hikes, and doves, who advocate for the end of aggressive interest rate hikes. So, today's speech by the head of the Fed will provide traders with more clarity on the future of the central bank's monetary policy. If Powell once again takes a soft approach, the euro and the British pound will most likely resume gains. In case uh, his remarks indicate the need to wait and gather more data before deciding if the economy needs further monetary restraint, the risky assets will probably remain under pressure. Besides, today's macroeconomic calendar includes data on German consumer prices. According to estimates, annual inflation in Germany clocked in at uh, 3.8% in October, down from 4.5% in September. Signs of easing inflation may weigh down on the euro, but the market situation is unlikely to change dramatically. Furthermore, Italy and the euro area will release a statistics on retail sales for September. However, these reports will hardly have a severe impact on market sentiment. Also, traders may take notice of speeches by Fed and ECB members, as well as the Eurogroup meeting. Now let's move on to technical analysis. According to the one-hour Euro-American dollar chart, a false breakout at 1.0703 will create a strong sell signal, bringing the price down to 1.0667, 1.0642 and 1.0616. At the level of 1.0616, I recommend going long on a rebound to catch an intraday correction of 20-25 pips. Long positions at 1.0667 and 1.0642 can be considered amid a false breakout. After all, the uptrend remains intact while the current downward move is just a correction. If the price breaks above 1.0703 and tests it from the top down, the euro will resume its bullish run, heading for 1.0729 and probably 1.0753. At the level of 1.0753, it would be a wise decision to go short on a rebound, counting on an intraday correction of 20-25 pips. Going short at 1.0729 and 1.0703 will be relevant only in the event of a false breakout. Speaking of the British pound decline followed by a false breakout at 1.2263 will make it possible to buy the pair. Given that today's macroeconomic calendar is bereft of any important news releases except for Bailey's speech, the bond sterling may well gain value. If bulls regain control of 1.2299 and the price consolidates above this mark, the volume of long positions will increase, thus pushing a sterling up to 1.2328 and 1.2366. At the level of 1.2366, traders are recommended to go short on a rebound to catch an intraday correction of 30-35 pips. Short positions at 1.2299 and 1.2328 can be considered only amid a false breakout. Alternatively, if the British currency reacts negatively to Bailey's statement and breaks below 1.2263, it will most likely extend losses to 1.2223 and 1.2184. In this case, uh, traders may go long on a rebound at 1.2184 to earn on a move of 30-35 pips. 
Long positions at 1.2223 and 1.2263 will be relevant only amid a false breakout. Best of luck.